Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest boxers to ever step foot in a boxing ring, and some people even place him on top spot. As much as he is a divisive figure outside the ring, once the bell rings, Floyd became a relentless master of his craft with hardly any visible flaws. We all know Mayweather is brash, loud, outspoken, but his moniker, the best ever, is backed up by his flawless 50-0 record and accolades that even die-hard haters cannot argue against. And ultimately, boxing is not about behaviour, but about winning. And there's no bigger winner than Floyd Money Mayweather. His incredible career was built upon an immovable block of disciplined training. His philosophy is encapsulated in the motto he repeats countless of times. Two sayings that have become an enchantment for him and his followers hard work and dedication. A simple formula that any aspiring or established boxer should follow. Hard work, dedication, hard work. I'm a one man army, one man army. The world can go against me, but I'm still coming on top. I got God on my side. Mayweather was trained by both his father, Floyd Sr. and his uncle, Roger, which did cause some tensions within the camp due to Floyd's dad going to prison and potentially a bit of jealousy due to the success Roger was having with Floyd at the time. You just said you were the best. So, so I, I am you the care. best. No, you're not. He, no, if you feel he's the best, you're not even close to him. Not even close. Oh, Lord. Not even close. But despite these family tensions, it was nice to see Floyd take up his dad again once Roger's health started to get worse. But it was them as trainers that really helped Floyd became the fighter he became. Many of the training methods and drills they used are the staple of boxing training, but there are also some other methods that may come as a surprise and make Floyd stick out from other champions. But now, let's take a look at the training of Floyd Mayweather and what made him one of the best defensive boxers of his era and the king of money making in the sport. Running is life. A simple fact is that Mayweather never gassed. He seemed to have unending cardio that allowed him to use all his skills in the ring without worrying about his gas tank at all. An important aspect of his outstanding cardio is his road work, a constant companion in every boxer's life. However, Floyd took this a bit further and ran 5-10 to 10 miles every single day. Or in fact, at night, there are many stories recalling Floyd getting out of a club late and running back to his house. He became famous for running and training at whatever hours he pleased, not following a specific time regime. If you need some more proof of how seriously Mayweather treated his road work, here's what Zab Judah, who Floyd beat in 2006, but later took on as a sparring partner in his preparation for the mega fight against Manny Pacquiao. I didn't, yeah, and, and so I had a chance of working with him for the Pacquiao fight, and, I got to train with him and yeah. see how he worked. And I mean, we would pull off four or five hour gym sessions, right from the gym session, run, leave there and go run 10 miles. Yeah. And I'm like, this motherfucker's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then we go home and go and lay down and he'll call you again at two, three o'clock in the morning. Like, yo, what up? Let's go run it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, dude, are you, are you crazy, dude? Like, he just yeah. made more cardio and conditioning. Running may be essential, but it's definitely not enough to reach the conditioning levels he reached. Another staple of Floyd's training was of course skipping rope. Another tried and tested exercise from the old days, Floyd turned this simple exercise into a thing of beauty. He would often use the rope as a warm up and would burst out for 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes with ankle weights where he would be doing double unders, triple unders, cross jumps and other advanced skipping techniques that made his routine just a pleasure to watch. And judging by the expression in which he did it, you can tell he enjoyed the jump rope. Even with the five pound ankle weights, he looked like he was floating above the ground at times. Aside from the specific training, Mayweather also liked to do things like basketball and has even been seen to participate in charity basketball games over the years. Boxing skills. Most viral training videos around the internet were taken after Floyd became Money Mayweather, but judging by the footage from his pretty boy years, it's easy to see his training remained largely unchanged throughout his career. He just found what worked, 
and took it to perfection. After Floyd became a superstar, it became even clearer that he thrives under the spotlight. On open workouts, there was always a crowd of 50 to 60 people watching him, perfecting the craft, especially when the camera is pointing at him. Most exercises were done in an extended non-stop fashion. Even the breaks he took were spent talking and dancing. If there was a time Floyd was tired, it was never around the cameras rolling. What made Floyd special compared to other fighters was not extraordinary punching power or blinding speed or any other huge physical attribute which we often get caught up in. It was how Mayweather remained undefeated because of his otherworldly skills and boxing IQ. He was a defensive mastermind and used this within his defensive counterpunching style that got him to get hit as little as possible. He took the old motto of hit and not get hit to the highest level and this is why he no doubt maintained his level all the way up until he was 40 years of age. But let's have a deeper look at how he sharpened his boxing skills over the years. Shadow Boxing Shadow boxing is primarily used to help master your punching technique and combination skill set. It's also used to use your imagination to visualize yourself facing an opponent. You can simulate punches, head, and defensive movements as if you're in an actual fight. For Floyd, shadow boxing was a vital part of his routine, just like any world-class boxer. However, he would switch between weighted and weightless shadow boxing and would often do this for 15 minutes without any rest. Many coaches today advise against punching with weights, but Mayweather did it frequently, no doubt to help with his shoulder endurance, conditioning to keep on punching for the full 12 rounds. The heavy bag. The heavy bag is the best friend of any boxer and is indispensable in building power and endurance in your punches. Floyd, of course, is frequently trained on it throughout his whole career. But from what I've seen, he has a slightly different approach than most. They often do very long rounds without any rest. But he didn't completely blast the bag full of force all the time. He would just flow from strike to strike endlessly. Another great exercise which you'll often see in boxing gyms for building up endurance is altering your cadence between light shots and heavy shots. This was something you would see Floyd do often and it's a great way to confuse the enemy as opposed to hitting with the same tempo and force in every strike. So this is great for both technique training and stamina building. Having a heavy bag in front of you as well can be quite a hard thing to visualize an opponent. It's a blank canvas, so to speak. Many famous boxers and trainers strongly recommend for everyone to learn this technique. While I haven't encountered an instance where Floyd says it, We've seen him on the heavy bag before where he's been throwing perfect jabs on the heavy bag as if he has an opponent in front of him using rhythm and adjusting himself after each punch. The heavy bag is great but it can develop bad habits but watching Floyd on the bag is a good reminder that we should try and focus more on our technique than just using it to land huge shots. Sparring while some sparring sessions were viewed by crowds in the gym, the prime of his fight preparation was heavily guarded behind closed doors. There are many stories, and may I say myths, surrounding his sparring sessions of Floyd sparring and humiliating world-class boxers and rising prospects, while also talking smack to them at the same time. After all, humility is maybe one of the last qualities you'd associate with Mayweather in the ring. But the bulk of his sessions was cut from the public eyes with restrictions on filming whenever camera crews were in the gym. However, some of Mayweather's former training partners, including Dimitri Salita, said at times Floyd sparred four minute rounds with just 15 seconds rest, which is just brutal. Dennis Duglin recalled the 20 to 30 minute sparring sessions without any clock running. There's also an interesting older clip of Floyd facing Omar Henry in sparring as he was preparing for his fight with Koto, a very similar style, which you can definitely see resembles in the type of sparring Floyd was doing. Everything Floyd does is calculated and serves a purpose. Even his open workouts garner a lot of attention, 
but his closed door sessions are even more interesting because they add to the intrigue and rumours and exaggerating his legend even more. The constant trash talking during sparring sessions is not only safe for the cameras, all his sparring partners testify that he does not stop talking during sparring. Former opponent and friend Zabjuda even once said, when he trains, he lines up 15 to 20 sparring partners at a time. I've known him since we were amateurs. He's always done over and beyond what the job consists of. You can't beat someone who's not going to get tired. And that is something you can only expect from someone that calls himself the best ever in the ring. A pad work unlike any other. If there is one thing that sets Floyd Mayweather's training aside from other boxers, it's his flowing pad work with his uncle Roger Mayweather, who sadly passed away in 2020. It resembled a choreographed sequence and more in line with karate or even a dance. The two flowed in an endless combination of punches without uttering a word to each other. They had such synchrony that it may seem like they were using telepathy I have to say the work of Roger, who sadly passed away in 2020, is sometimes more impressive than that of his nephew. Many have debated the actual merit of using this method of pads. In my opinion, it doesn't bring much value to other boxers or trainers unless you're trying to work on things such as punch combinations, things like conditioning, catching shots, and speed and reactions to certain movements in front of you, which no doubt help Floyd in his overall defense counter-punching skill set. Strength and conditioning. Now as far as strength and conditioning goes, I haven't seen Floyd do anything too fancy. Just like with the rest of his training, except maybe the flashy pad work, he uses classic bodyweight exercises to build up his body, but just does otherworldly amount of them. He was known to do about 5,000 sit-ups in a day, in a few different ways, followed by medicine balls to the stomach, and also the ab roller was a constant companion of this ab work too. He'd also do countless of push-ups, pull-ups, dips, squats, and kept his muscles in prime condition. In today's fitness world of endless possibilities of machines, exercises, and methods, Floyd more or less chose the most basic exercises that prove themselves in time. And of course, would always make sure to work on those neck muscles to make sure he would give himself enough punch resistance. Some even claim Floyd chewing gum during training was also another way for him to strengthen his jaw and resistance. While Mayweather may not be the most physically imposing, I've never seen even bigger men being able to really handle him and throw him around the ring too much. Diet and recovery. Most boxers follow a strict dieting regime even when out of camp. Floyd found a way to cheat the system, or at least that's what he says. Mayweather said he does not cut weight before weighing in and maintains a weight of three to four pounds of his division limit. Because of that, he's often been seen eating Big Macs or drinking Coca-Cola. I have a very serious doubt this was the reality of his pre-fight diet. No athlete can maintain the elite form Floyd has over the years and actually still into his retirement by eating junk every day. This was more of a show, I believe, like many of his other antics. The reason I say this is Floyd actually had his own personal chef over the years that prepared special meals with only organic products, including the likes of meat, seafood, broccoli, fruit juices, and many other things. A good nutritious diet is essential for every boxer and this surely helped Mayweather keep his body fresh and agile all the way into his 40s. But no doubt deciding to fight closer to his natural weight, Floyd definitely had the freedom to get away with eating a hot dog or two. Aside from all the other standard recovery protocols, later in his career, we've seen Floyd use cryotherapy. This procedure is done by exposing the body to temperatures of minus 220 degrees via liquid nitrogen in a special chamber. The cryo sessions last 90 seconds to 3 minutes and help enrich the blood, expel toxins and thus quicken muscle recovery. After we first saw Floyd use this back in 2015, we started to see more of the top boxers of today use it and also in other major sports. Final thoughts. 
Love him or hate him, Floyd Mayweather is without a doubt one of the greatest boxers in history. His brash persona and out of ring antics may come across as arrogant, but make no mistake about it, he lived and breathed by his motto. Hard work, dedication. Even now in his 40s, he still lives a very active lifestyle and has that same championship mentality as we've seen in his recent retirement exhibition bouts in Japan and obviously against Logan Paul. While the ethics of these bouts are very debatable, Mayweather still showcased world-class level of preparation and skill. And for me, he's definitely a reminder that if you want to make it to the top of this sport, you need to have hard work and dedication. And that wraps up this boxing training breakdown, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of Floyd Mayweather's training regime. Make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, why not subscribe? As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.